Mirena is the Amazon that fought the Atlanteans. The Amazons were a mythical nation of heroic warrior women who, according to the ancients, lived in the periphery of the then known world. Their parents were considered Mars and Harmony, or Athena. In question, the question regarding the perceptions that influenced the immigration, the imagination of the Greek people, and created the myths about the Amazons is one of the most difficult and controversial questions in Greek mythology. Modern research, however, tends to regard the Amazons as a historical people rather than a mythological or sociological conception. The Amazons, armed with bows, arrows, and swords, defended their country and at the same time raided beyond their borders neighboring countries as far as Tanai, Thrace, and Syria. The Amazons, who had no men in their country, went and lived for two months in the spring to perpetuate the species with a neighboring male people, the Gargaris, who lived in the Caucasus Mountains. They even had the habit of removing their girls' right breast so as not to prevent them from using the bow. It's possible, however, that this myth, which is found in the writers of late antiquity, was created by the paretymology of the name Amazons from the deriv derivative masos, meaning breast, which meant one that had no breast, Amazon, that, that is non-breasted, right? The word for Amazon, Mazon, Amazon. They founded many famous cities and met with the most famous heroes of Greek myth. According to tradition, the cities of Kimi, Myrina, Ephesus and Izmir, or Smyrna of Turkey, were founded by the Amazons. In other words, the cities of what is today Western Turkey. According to one version, the city of Limnos, Myrna, owes its name to the queen of the Amazon, Myrna. She is mentioned in the as the daughter of Tefkros and the wife of King Dardanus. This is aided by another myth according to which the Limnians had killed all men of the island. Limnus, as we know, is um, uh, very famous for uh, the women there. Now, Myrna declared war on the Atlanteans and with 3,000 Amazons, women warriors that is, managed to capture their city of Kirnin. There, she captured uh, women and children and completely destroyed the cities. The rest of the Atlanteans surrendered in terror. Myrna treated them with generosity signing a treaty with them and founded a new city in its place which uh, had been destroyed. The new city was named Myrina after the Amazon queen. The Atlanteans then asked Myrina to help them against the Gorgons. Myrina managed to defeat them and since then she has received great honors from her subjects. To honor the Amazons who had been killed in the war, Myrina in turn erected a majestic burial monument. Myrna later conquered most of Libya, allied to the, uh, with the Iro of Egypt, and plundered Syria. Eventually, Myria was killed by King Mopsos. The word Myrni is also associated with the uh, homon homonymous city of Eolida, which according to the ancients must have been founded by the ruler of the Amazons. Now, always on horseback, they fought in the Trojan War on the side of the Trojans, led by the famous Panthesilia, who was, loved and, uh, who was loved and killed by Achilles. Homer says that the Amazons clashed with Bellerophon, who killed them, while Pindar adds that he killed them with his arrows, which he threw from above on his winged horse Pegasus. The legend of the magnificent Amazons had spread enormously in the ancient world. In their country, the legend says that Hercules once arrived by order of every senator to take the belt of their queen Hippolytus and transport it to Mycenae. That's the area of uh, Sparta. Well, no, above Sparta. Mycenae is the area of uh, um, Agamemnon. Now, the Amazon and uh, the beautiful Helen. Now, the Amazons, however, fiercely resisted the demand of Hercules, who, in order to achieve his goal, killed the queen and took her famous belt. The Amazons were considered daughters of Mars, the god of war, because of the warlike and militant nature that distinguished them. The myth of these women warriors in the ancient Greek world 
seems to be a reminder of the old regime of mat matriarchy, the domination of women in social, political, and military life that prevailed in prehistoric times before the patriarchal regime. The myth of the Amazons influenced the ancient and modern worlds so much that the urban legend circulates that when, in 1542, a group of Spanish soldiers led by Francisco de Orellana were on an exploratory, uh, exploratory mission in Brazil when they were confronted with something truly amazing. On the banks of a river, he was surrounded by a group of warriors led by a beautiful woman. Quote, she was tall, muscular, impetuous, and the only outfit on her was a piece of cloth. This is how Gaspar de Cavallas, the mission chronicler, describes it in his diary. As soon as they overcame their initial surprise, the Spaniards realized that they were facing an Amazon. In remembrance of this encounter, the river was named the Amazon River. So the Amazon River was named by the Spaniards because of the fact that they found, they saw these um, warrior women led by the beautiful woman, tall, muscular, impetuous, only wearing her piece of cloth. Now, uh, other scholars say that when the Spaniards saw native men with long hair, they turned to women, exclamation point. But in Brazil, the natives who have strong Mongolian features and are short do not have long hair like the redheads of North America, the natives of North America. Now, more specifically, when Aphrodite deceived Ephesus with Mars, the people of Limnos got angry and threw the steel of the pillar of the goddess into the sea. Aphrodite, to avenge them, sent them a bald, uh, sorry, a bad smell, and no man could bear to approach them. So they brought women from Thrace. The people of Limni were angry. The smell had passed, and they had decided to take revenge by killing all the men and foreign women, which they did after they got drunk at a party, and their bodies were thrown from Petassos. Now, the only man, man who survived was Thoantas, after his daughter locked him in a barrel, which she threw into the sea to save him. Then the Limnians proclaimed Ipsipili Ipsi their queen, and uh, she became the Amaz and that they became an Amazon state. When the Argonauts crossed the island on their way to the Golden Fleece, they asked to stop in Limnos for supplies. The people of Limnos refused. That's the island of Mytilini today. It's uh, in the North Aegean. The people of Limnos refused, and according to one version, a fierce battle broke out between them. Another version mentions the intervention of Aphrodite and Eros at the request of Ephesus, who wanted the best young men of all of Greece to stay on the island. The third version states that the women made an agreement with the Argonauts that they would let them go down to the island only if they mate with them. Let's remember the Argonauts were not just, uh, you know, random sailors. They were the top uh, cream of the crop uh, princes and uh, sons of kings and uh, educated elite who made up the Argonauts. Now, whatever happened, the Argonauts came down to Ipsi Ipsipili, met her uh, only love, Jason, the leader of the campaign, Jason and the Argonauts. He had two, she had two children with him, Evnios and Thoantas. Another version states that the second son was called Dipilos or Nebrophonos. The men stayed on the island for two years, forgetting both Darius and the campaign. And if Hercules did not remind them, they would still be there. So they started leaving for Colchis with the promise that they would return to the island of Limnos Mytilini to mate with the Argonauts women, the Argonaut women there. So goes the myth. So we found out from this that the Amazon River was named by the Spaniards being Amazon because that's where they first saw the Amazon women, how beautiful and tall they were. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Thank you. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.